Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ronnie Ocampo, and on this channel we talk all things wildland firefighting, from health and fitness, fire education, mental health, and everything in between. So if you're interested in wildland firefighting, I highly suggest you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know every time I upload, which is on Wednesdays for Wildland Wednesdays. In today's video, we're going to be going over some fire basics. So make sure you get your notebooks out, take any notes that you need, and let's get into it. Okay, so for this portion, we're busting out the whiteboard. So I'll zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit easier. Okay, so now you guys are zoomed in a little bit better. So you have your fire triangle, which has three sides, obviously. So you have your heat, oxygen, and your fuel. So you have to have fuel to burn, you have to have air to supply oxygen to the flame, and then you have to have heat to start and continue the combustion process. So if you don't have one side of this triangle, you will not have a fire. Therefore, for combustion to occur, you need to have all three sides present. And the final topic that we're going to discuss is heat transfer, radiation, convection, and conduction. The first one we're going to look at is radiation. So think of radiant heat as a ray or a wave. So radiant heat can warm you as you stand close to a campfire. Um, it can dry surrounding fuels and sometimes even ignite them. Next, we're going to look at convection. So think of this as the smoke column above the fire or smoke rising up the chimney of a stove. The hot gases and the embers which compose of the smoke column can dry and ignite other fuels. So if you have a lot of high winds, you'll see a lot of spotting on your fires due to the convection of the column. And the last one that we're going to look at is conduction. So think of conduction as a spoon heated in a hot drink. Heat is conducted from one fuel particle to another in the same way. And going back to the fire triangle, we know that fuel is anything that will burn, such as grass, trees, shrubs, any other material that's lying on the ground, and then also sometimes structures. Hope you guys found that information helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys check out the next couple of videos for more fire basic information. And then you guys can also check out the description for links to my website and then also a free guide if you guys are looking into wildland firefighting. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Our three sides to the fire triangle. Great. For more fire behavior information and fuel characteristics. Our basic information. Why do I? Why can't I do this? Okay.